Hi, my name is Dr. Sienny Chong. I'm a doctor of acupuncture and Chinese medicine. Today I'm going to show you how to make bone marrow soup. Many patients of mine and some friends have asked me how to make bone marrow soup. Do they buy it from the store or do they make themselves? I always suggest making your own bone marrow soup because you know what the ingredients are from and how to make it properly. So come here and I'll show you. Here is the backbone, a spine of a cow. As you can see, this is a thick bone with a gooey in the middle, which has the fat, collagen, minerals, and all that. And why do we choose the backbone? Because the backbone and the hip bones are the most nutritious part, uh, most highest in collagen, and also all the minerals. So we want to use this. If you use fish bone, if you use toe bone, if you use other bones, you don't get the same mineral and collagen that you need from the spine or the hip bone. Next one I will show you is the three holy trinity of Chinese cooking. We have garlic, ginger, and scallions. And scallions, we always want to leave the scallions this way because again, the most nutritious part is at the root. And uh, some dried mushroom, which I have pre-washed. Uh, we want some of the umame taste in the soup as well. And before I put the ingredients in the soup, I always use the back of my knife. I'm just gonna pound it, the ginger, so all the juices comes out. Pound a little bit of the garlic as well. And that's all we have. And so next are the, some of the um, things that we want to add into the soup when it is cooking. I have here is some black vinegar, uh, Chinese black vinegar. Uh, we want to use about two tablespoons. If you don't have Chinese black vinegar, you can always use apple cider vinegar. Not too much. Again, that like one to two tablespoon. And then Shing wine, if you have. If you don't, you can use some sherry. This is, we can uh, add this at the end of the cooking. So we're going to start cooking now. So here I have a seven quart pot and some water that's been boiled. So the water I have here is about uh, two liter or 12 cups. And very easy. Uh, we just want the stock of the soup, put everything in here. And uh, some mushroom. Okay. We have the garlic and the ginger and the scallion. Put everything in. And with this, it's hot, so be very careful. So I have um, some water boil. Just pour it in. And as you can see, it's nice. The color is very nice, very fresh. And uh, we want to turn it down up to about medium uh, for about an hour and then small for about six hours or so. Uh, if you're not home and you want to make this soup um, for the next day, I always recommend having like a crock pot. And a crock pot is very easy to use because uh, you can use it, put, you know, put it overnight. I, as you can see, I've been cooking this for since last night and uh, it's on slow and uh, you know some oil has uh, reached up and I'll show you the marrow the really good part of uh, the bone here there we go it's not coming up but here we go so this th this one has already come out it's all fat this is the most delicious part you want to consume this is possible okay all the gooey and so, and all the collagen has been out you can see the consistency of the soup is very thick so usually I'll let this uh, cool down I'll turn it off once it cools down, I have some uh, clean, you know, recycled uh, glass here. I'll put the soup in here and then put it in the fridge. So once it gets in the fridge, it will cool and the consistency of the soup will be like jelly and the fat will rise up to the top. So if you don't like the fat, you can just scoop out the fat and use the stock for any cooking, for soup, you put vegetables in this and other things. I hope you have uh, enjoyed this session and I'll put out more on how to make vegetarian marrow soup next, which will be very interesting. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.